Hello and welcome, it's Silvana here for the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful Christmas slimline card with a lot of products from DMC, especially dyes and cardstock. We are going to start by making the card base. We need to cut a piece of white cardstock that measures 7 inches by 8 and a quarter inches and we are going to score it at half in the 7 inch side at three and a half inches. The paper trimmer has a, a scoring blade that is very helpful to do this. I use the Teflon bone folder to reinforce the score line and make it flat, especially when we use a thick cardstock. With the stitched slimline die, cut a rectangle from white cardstock with the biggest die. This time you can use a lighter cardstock, not so thick as the card base. As you can see, you can use a standard size cutting machine for this because it enters perfectly in the plates. And it cuts nicely and gives a perfectly embossed stitching line in the, in the paper. Okay, now we are going to make the weaving background. We have to cut about 25 strips of white cardstock of a quarter of an inch wide. The weaving background gives an interesting and cool look to our card, very sophisticated and something a little bit different in it. After finishing cutting, I am putting 15 strips vertically with a little space in between each one. I am eyeballing this, I am not measuring, but I think it's a millimeter wide, the space between each strip. And I'm holding them together with a low tack tape. You can use washi tape just to help me hold them together and not move it uh, at all. Then we start to weave. The process is this, you have to put a strip horizontally and you have to start under a strip, under the first strip, and then you have to pass it over the next strip and then under the, the other and over the other until you finish the line, all the strips. Then the next horizontal strip, you have to start in the contrary way. If you started over, this second strip is going to start under the first vertical strip. I think I did it the other way, but if you see the video, I am doing it right. <laughs> okay, this is a tight net, so push with your fingers and help the strip to go near the other. Okay, repeat the process and complete 10 strips. It's a hard working process, but totally worth it. I glue the ends of the weaving because we need that the net holds together when we die cut it later. I put glue in the strips over and the final strips over and flip it over and glue the orders under. We are going to cut the weaving with the biggest slimline die that we used before. When we have that panel with the weaving, we can glue it to the card base. I am putting some tape in the in this die because I want it to be very straight and I wanted to be sure that doesn't move. The panel is going to measure three and a half inches wide and about three inches long. We are ready to paste it in the card base. After we paste the weave panel we have to put the first panel we cut with white cardstock. We have to measure it and uh, cut it in, in the size we need. 
but pay attention in the emboss stitching. We need to see the emboss stitching in the bottom of the card. The sentiment of our card is made with the Christmas frame die. I cut two frames, one of ivory cardstock and one of gold cardstock. As you can see, the frame die enters perfectly in the Easy Cut machine. It's the machine that DMC has to offer in their website. And it's a really cool machine and it works very nice. When I had the two frames, I remove all the letters of the ivory frame with the ultimate die cleaning tool and then I put some double-sided tape under and I remove the letters from the gold frame and put them in the spaces in the ivory frame as you can see me doing in the video sorry about my head there but sometimes I need to see what I am doing this is something that requires a little patience, but uh, the final look is amazing. I love how the two, the two colors work together and we have really a cool and nice frame when we finish. You can see now, it's amazing. It's our cool frame with the sentiment. There you can see where we are going to put it later. And now we are going to make some flowers. I used the five pointed petals die with a rich red cardstock, which is an amazing color, uh, to make them. We need to make seven flowers. Each flower is made with two different sizes. So we need to cut uh, 14 of these flowers and we have to see the different sizes to do it. I use here again the Easy Cut machine, which is uh, my favorite tool ever. <laughs> okay, when we have all the flowers, I use the pencil bone folder to mark the ribbon of the flower, just to give it a, give them a detail so they don't look so plain. After marking all the ribbing, we can give some volume to our flowers with the embossing foam pad. After giving some volume to the two flowers, we have to pierce a hole in the middle of the flowers where we are going to put the stamens. I use yellow stamens to resemble a Ponsetia flower. For the biggest flowers, I use three stamens. I have to tell you that it wasn't easy to put the, the stamens through the holes. So in the second flower, I made a bigger hole with a punch. For the other flowers, I use three stamens and two stamens in the smaller ones. I put a drop of glue in between the two flowers and then they are ready. They are so lovely. I love them. <laughs> Look at them. I have there my seven flowers. Uh, I'm going to cut some leaves for them. I use the foliage and leaves number three die with a bottle green cardstock. I cut two uh, branches of bottle green cardstock, but I only use one. Then I use the foliage and leaves number six die with gold cardstock. Uh, the same gold cardstock that I use for the sentiment. I ran it through the machine twice because I thought it would be difficult to cut, but it was very, very easy to cut with the, with the machine and the die. They work very nicely. To add more interest to the background, 
I use some aqua bronze. This is a powder. This is a gold power powder that uh, you have to use with watercolor. It activates with water. As you can see, I am putting some drops of water. If you have a pearl or metallic watercolor, you can use it, but this is what I have. So I put some droplets with the brush over the background and then I dry them with the heat gun. I couldn't wait to finish it. After drying it, it wasn't staying too flat, so I put a piece of tape uh, in it. Now we are going to assemble the rest. I put a piece of craft foam in the back of the frame, just to give it dimension, and I paste it and I paste it where the two backgrounds meet. Then I'm going to paste the flowers. I think uh, to paste the flower, I didn't use the best glue to do it. I used tacky glue, which is a great glue, but this doesn't dry fast, so the flowers didn't stay in the place and in the form that I put them. You can see me there struggling with the, with the flowers. I think that um, a hot glue gun or something that dries fast will work better than the tacky glue, but, well, I, I could do it, but I think some other glue will work better than this. I had a hard time making this uh, flower arrangement, but I could do it. So I, I am so, so happy with the result. Well, now we have to cut some leaves, uh, some branches in smaller leaves. Uh, you can use the embossing foam pad to give them dimension as I am doing there and then I'm arranging the the flower the branches in the places that are cool the foam pad it's another thing that it's amazing to use it's very helpful okay it looks so nice there. I, I was loving it when I was doing it. It's just I knew that would be amazing because the the cardstock have these colors, that rich colors, amazing colors. So so beautiful. Now. I am doing the same thing, but with the gold uh, branch. This have has um, like a flower, so I cut them and put them in, in the places I thought it would be nice. And it looks amazing with that touch of gold. I put three of those uh, little flowers that has the, the branches. I'm almost finishing the card. It looks amazing. Right now, I put the final flower there. And then I decided that I needed something else. So for the final touches, I put some water droplets and I paste them with glossy accents that is a glue that dries clear and you don't see it when it dries. So I put uh, three droplets there with, with, the, with the glossy accent and then I put two more over the, the weaving background and we are almost there. I, I can't believe I finished this. <laughs> I believe it turned out beautifully. The mini funnel tray, the pink one that I have, it's another very helpful tool to work with. 
so the card is ready you can see how gorgeous it is oh my god it turned out so good i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i hope seeing you in my social media stay safe goodbye